This week we discussed how career planning is an active process. You explored career planning resources, both to assess your interests, skills, and values, and to explore career options. You now have a map of resources which you can refer back to even after the course. And don't forget that you drafted an email to someone in your network for an informational interview. Now you're one step closer to building a strong community of connections. I actually really like doing informational interviews. Um, talking about my job really reinforces how much I love it. And I also get to help someone else explore my career at the same time. Yeah, that was my experience when I did a few informational interviews. Uh, you have defined your career objectives and your career goals. For me, my career objectives include securing a 10-year faculty track position at a Tier 1 institution. I often think about how I can impact society by discovering novel ways to treat breast cancer. And it's so exciting that you have those goals in front of you. And you mentioned previously that you've translated some of the short-term things you're working on into a longer-term career plan. I think yeah. you called it the five-year plan. And that's a strategy we talked about in this module. It's important, though, to revisit a career plan often, as this is a dynamic and living document. Totally agree with you. My career plans have slightly deviated from my first year until now, when I was exposed to another career option uh, to work for a government agency instead of an academic institution. And so revisiting my career plans helped to assure that I align them with this new career objective. This includes finding a new set of mentors that can work in the government and so that I could ask for their guidance in regards to this career industry. What did it look like? And how could I prepare myself as a postdoc to become an attractive applicant and hopefully a new hire in this industry? And having multiple mentors is always a good strategy. Even if you don't pursue a career in government now, you're likely getting different types of support from your network of mentors. Although we are no longer graduate students, I think that postdocs should never stop exploring new ideas and to keep an open mind to thinking about different career options. This will help you to find the career that you love. So don't be afraid to ask questions because this will help you to make an informed decision that's right for you.